and uh, as I said, this time we'll be doing the A and Z, A and Z intern virtual internship or virtual experience. And this is this has two modules. Uh, the first module is for exploratory data analysis, and the second one is to develop a predictive model that will predict uh, the annual salary. So, since uh, in our JPMC virtual internship we use Excel, uh, we'll also be using Excel in this one, and I'll be taking some assumptions to go ahead. Uh, let's have a look, uh, just pause the video and have a look at this task so we can continue ahead. So I hope you have paused the video and have read this and let me go to the data. So here is the data set available to us and uh, there are many 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 missing values here. Around 12,044 rows and uh, So, and 23 variables and total. I'll be adding some new variables to our data set and uh, that are so can anyone guess what data set uh, what variables I am introducing here obviously I cannot introduce uh, some of the variables that are irrelevant here but I think that these will be very useful so I would like to know the day the month although Yes, it is relevant here. Any idea what should be uh, yes. So oh yes, please. Then now it's clear. So uh, what my claim is that if uh, the first is true, I am ready to accept that the other will also be true. So what I'm going to do is control V, that is undo, and undo some changes here. And uh, yes, now what I'm going to do is um, and let me name it as sign and as a easier classifier to make the case. So it all has sign. Can we do anything about this as well? I think we can. Let's do it then. Uh, let's insert more than one. So what we are doing is we are basically doing some preliminary analysis and we'll actually start the uh, more important one in the later in the later video. So even if you skip this one not that bad but uh, I would say that you will cause you then ask me then that what what have I have I done 
done to do these things. So I'll put it here and there you go. So we have the date here and we have the time code here. So now just let's check it once again. If this is equal to this and uh, okay. my mistake I do because what I did was for one I should have done for the whole text to column go ahead yes and uh, here we do it again. Ah, yes, it's going to be fine. So, I hope it's going to come soon. So, since then, right? Should I be given any credit for that? Just kidding. Just let me try a little one more thing that I. Mm. Time. No, it would be hour. I don't know why it is. Um, I should have used R instead, I guess. It would have been much easier for me. But uh, then you guys want it to know if there is a way um, Okay. Since this is true and this is true, let me simply say that this is the time. Time. Time of transaction. This is not useful for us. Let's remove it. This is timestamp validation date mm. although it does not matter now whatever date you choose so if, even if I just remove this and this it would not get any problem to us but also this you will understand what I'm trying to do because I have done this. So value and we want to know the day here we want to know here we want to know the And here we want to know the hours. So let's expand this. We have added a few variables to it ourselves. Now the important question to it is what is the use of adding these components will this be 
important to us in enlightening it or what? I am going to uh, further make it easier for us and uh, to make it a little more how do you say it? Uh, I am going to transform this data into a little what we say time series data and uh, for furthermore uh, I would like to make one more assumption that I believe uh, someone would also relate to okay so I'll make a another column another variable named salary and I say that if the movement is debit to the account it means it is in 